to be a video explaining this powerful prayer I wrote. I, it's inversed on my camera. I don't know if it's inversed in the real footage. And uh, I guess before I start explaining things, I just want to pray over this whole thing whilst I'm in this calm little atmosphere of a place in a park. Jesus, I pray that whoever is watching this video, may you bless them and may you reveal unto them in their minds a new perspective, a new renewal of seeing things and that you may guide them and lead them into all sources of goodness and that, you know what, this may be a great, a great shaking up of perspectives, that this may in the name of Jesus Christ may rock someone's boat and completely transform the lives. And I pray that they stay consistently throughout this place um, and that they may truthfully open up your heart unto you to, to believe and take this personally into their lives so that it may transform them positively and turn them away from all suffering and darkness they may be experiencing. So you're either here from Instagram or you're here from, I don't know, just random being a subscriber on my YouTube channel. Um, but I'm essentially going to read this prayer out aloud uh, so that those who want to pray this prayer by themselves can, can say it along with me whilst I read it because I think this, I mean, I wrote this prayer specifically uh, for my church community, but God also gave me the idea to put this on my YouTube channel, so I am, I'm being obedient to the Lord. But, so I wrote this, and it has a lot of sentences that start with we. So obviously, uh, the, the focus of this prayer was to like do it in unity. And so if you're doing it alone, I think it's really important to just say it along with someone else because it's written uh, where two, Jesus says this, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. So I definitely recommend saying this prayer. I'll leave it in the description also so that anyone who hasn't come across this in any way before can read it along with me. If you have any people you want to say this with, definitely do it in a group of two or three mim minimum. Uh, but I personally, right now, I'm alone, right? I mean, I, I have great faith, I believe, and that's nothing to boast about, but there's scripture that supports the whole thing that, well, Jesus is my witness. The Father is right here, right now, even though I may not sense him all powerfully, but this power powerful prayer is really powerful and I bet that I you know what may you just read through the whole of it from beginning to end no matter what you may feel during it and I guarantee it will transform your life in as time progresses in some sort of positive way in some area of your life or it just completely changes but I want you to read this with an open heart because I mean, if you don't believe, then you're closing doors. You're essentially closing the possibility of it actually happening to you. Because when God uses his power and wants to manifest himself and manifest his great love and his Holy Spirit, well, he's not going to do it in vain. So, so, is there anything else I need to say before I carry on? Now, as you may see, I've numbered parts here. There's, hold on. there's number one here, there's number two here, and there's six parts to this because I structured this prayer very strategically and I spent many hours on this. So I wanted this to not be a random prayer that was on the spot written, although most of this is 
written from the heart, so it's not like I copied this from anywhere, but an extremely huge amount of Bible verses are referenced in this. That's why it's also powerful, because we fight with the Word of God, which is Jesus Christ. And when, you, when we get to the part where it says, look, part number four, part number four, now this is the very specific part about this prayer, because it lists all the demons we're going to be casting out and how, and their works, and their, basically, what they do, their, you know, like, the, the, the things that they do to you, basically. I don't know how else to explain it. But when we're, when we're gonna be, like, telling their, their, like, powers and the things that they have put in our lives to leave, then there's a long list of it. And it says to, like, a, what does it say? To apply according to your struggle and this part is very general so uh, if you're by yourself and you know what you may pick out you may add certain things or you may take away certain things but as we're reading it right now I just want you to uh, read out aloud all, all of it all of the things that are listed because you, you may not know this is very general so you may not know um, which of these are actually acting in your life or are actively in your life. So, definitely read through all of it. But, if you want a specific prayer, then, um, I mean, on YouTube, I don't know how I'd write a prayer more specific for you, but essentially, we'd target, we'd we'd like take away the things that you know what maybe we're not dealing with right now the things that are not acting upon our lives and target more specific groupings of the demons and their works and powers and target those like specific things so that we can so it's specific to what the person is praying obviously yeah and that's that now let's actually read it. Let me just concentrate on God for a second. That's really an also important part. I want you to, if you've never prayed this prayer before, or any prayer, I don't know. But a good way of connecting with God is to imagine that He is observing you right now. That He sees and knows what where you are, what you are doing, what you are thinking, what you are saying in this very moment right now. And he won't go away in any moment, at any point, and he will listen to you at every time of day, hour, in the past, present and future. So concentrate on God whilst you're saying this prayer out loud. Try not to say it mundanely, but also try and like honestly say it basically I know that's a lot but that's about that's all that is all now so so let's actually start thank you God we come before you right now father putting our whole trust faith and focus on your word asking and thanking you in the name of Jesus that you align our mind body soul spirit heart and might according to your will for just how you are in your son jesus and he in you through jesus and the holy spirit you are in us so that we may speak your breath of life just as jesus did for as you are truth your word is true and we as your disciples that believe on whom you have sent accept our full dependence on the true bread from heaven asking that you give us our daily portion today and every other day according to our needs so that our joy may be full and don't end up as waves driven and tossed about by the wind 
we gather today declaring in the name of Jesus unity, power, and a sound mind so that as the bride of Christ we may appear pleasing to you and make us a salt that does not lose its savor. May you establish in this presence among all these people complete life over death so an ongoing glorifying authority and victory as that of Jesus' resurrection may manifest itself upon our lives as we decree to follow you through paying the full cost to be able to finish the building of our towers. Let there be light that reveals all works of iniquity. And as you pour upon us your love, all fear will leave now. For as the gift is greater than the trespass, we now rent into all veils of darkness. We renounce all short-sighted thoughts, doings, and agreements to the schemes, works, and oppression of the prince of the power of the air. We have made consciously, subconsciously, through any ignorance and slight disobedience, all hindrances and mountains designed to delay or fracture our journey with Christ that are internal and external, we confront them now, giving them up down at your feet to trample on. And we pray they be uprooted mightily, planted in the deepest of seas to die. With a hammer of fire, we shatter all evil into submission, with the swords of our mouths, binding every strong man, witch, and warlock operating in the spiritual realms, by the power and blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God, we arrest all demons of falseness, spiritual blindness, addiction, religiousness, pharmakia, magic, failure, relapse, antichrist, impurity, prejudice, unforgiveness, rebellion, stress, destruction, apathy, distraction, control, trauma, paranoia, phantoms, persecution, covetousness, hatred, curses, malice, lack, haughtiness, forgetfulness, ambiguity, fatigue, guilt, hindrance, and shyness. All of us restrict, restrain, dismantle all weapons, traps, strategies of the adversaries and accusers against us, casting them out into the deep. For nothing shall by any means hurt us, and no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We now attack the very sources and headquarters of Satan, in the first and second heaven, sending a mighty flood of destruction as of the days of Noah upon their strongholds, rulers of the darkness of this world, spells, affirmations, incantations, curses, astral projections, spiritual wickedness in high places, principalities, bondages, vexes and hexes, divination and conjuration powers, mischief, mind control, persistence, blasphemy and lies so that all foundations that are not built upon the word of God, all demonic influence, oppression and ideas that war on your people, all chief cornerstones that are not of your true church, all agents of darkness sent by the evil one to deceive, manipulate and serve as counterfeits in heavenly and physical places may be powerfully blast out into outer darkness over yonder from your children as far as the east is from the west judged by the righteous right hand of God, receiving their reward and reaping what they have sown. To be wounded day and night, cut thoroughly into by the sharp spoken word of God, for each corrupt evil tree to be cursed to the core, shewn down, gathered up and be thrown into the lake of fire and brimstone that shall never be quenched, along with every raven, rock and thorn. We order all these things to be delivered up to the officers, to cast them into prison, lock them in cages for all ages. We put the blood of Jesus on all cages and targets. Let them be tormented, struck and beaten in the dry places. We break every power of the spirit of backlash, retaliation, revenge, any transfer of spirits against ourselves, our families, our close ones, our purpose, our destiny, our finances, by putting to sleep every reinforcement plans B's, C's, D's up to Z and beyond. We paralyze and confuse the languages of every entity from Babylon so that a civil war is waged against the kingdom of darkness. 
We now pray, Lord Jesus, King of Kings, that you sweep up in our hearts every corner having webs and dust through the cleansing water of the Holy Spirit and the life-giving blood of the Lamb, that as we abide in you, you may live in us, being the master of our temples. We receive you as little children, believing that you will deck us richly with broided work of gold and silver, prospering into a kingdom, honorable and precious as you are, knowing you will raise up newly breathing and beating pillars of rock, gardening us as plants in the deepest midst of our souls. I am that I am. Thank you for your perfect existence. You are beautiful in all you are and do. We praise you now for the past, present and future, that you have put your law into our veins, that we are your people and you our God, and that you are for us, not against us. Amen. Now, I know that may have been long, but also you may have realized I was probably pausing a little bit at the end, but that's because um, I realized I was typing on a keyboard that was really annoying and some letters were missed out. So I'll probably change it, that's fine, so I'll probably change it in the, in the description, it will be different. A sentence may be missed out, but it, does, it doesn't matter. You can still read the prayer out aloud and change the thing as I said. And hopefully that was very helpful to you. God bless.